What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rolling Up Wins back from the Outlet Podcast. The greatest and latest, the bonus and the coders, aka Platinum with no features, aka like, share, and subscribe to the Ilsa Live. So, I'm up here in Michigan, my first couple of days. My opinion on this whole shit so far is this a desolate ass state? I don't even know how people even meet people up here, or like, you know how you see family couples out and shit together? Like, I think they have like a, arranged marriages up here. Cause it's too goddamn cold to do anything. Like, y'all niggas don't meet at clubs, y'all must meet at family get togethers, or y'all get hooked up or something. Cause motherfuckers out here ain't doing shit. Anyway, that's just my little early intro. Cause usually I have a little thing I gotta get on my chest. But, so I was on Facebook earlier, and I haven't really been fucking with Facebook too hard lately. Not saying anybody did anything to me. It's just I've been too busy, or I just, it hasn't been an interest of mine as of late. Not saying it has, you know, fallen off. I just haven't felt like it. You know what I'm saying? Or haven't been inspired. Usually I wake up and I spit like 15 statuses out. I'm not that person anymore, and I accept that about myself. Anyway, so I was watching this damn O'Shea the Duke Jackson video about... What was it? He was pretty much saying, like, you know, one of the biggest lies a woman tells is, you know, saying that she's allergic to latex. And I actually had a friend tell me some shit like that a while back. A couple of girls have actually told me that shit before in my life. I ain't get mad at it. But, you know, I, I pretty much said the title on my Facebook, you know what I'm saying? And one of my friends, was, you know, was just like, dang, well, you got to watch out for them hoes that do this shit. And I know that shit be pissing you off. This, that, and the third. I know that shit be getting under the nigga skin. And I kind of was just like shrugs, man. You know, shrugs. And my response to that, you know, even, even as of late, I kind of just... Ronald Williams, personally, at this point, doesn't have a whole lot of shit to argue about when it comes to women. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm at a point where... If a girl lies to me, I take it in stride. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean to keep using keywords in the video and shit. But it's kind of like, you know, a lot of shit, as far as women, don't really bother me personally. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I've become so accustomed to the bullshit. Oh, I only say so much of the bullshit, but it's like, I've come to expect it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, all this shit is just kind of whatever. Usually, I'd have a lot more to say. Like, you know, I, two years ago, I would have responded to that completely different. I, and I can tell... Because my Facebook memories pop up, and usually I don't even really type new statuses like that no more. I might just share old shit. But that's the type of nigga I was back in that day. I had shit to get off my chest just for the sake of getting shit off my chest. And now I put so many of these videos out, I don't feel the need to say it. Or I just haven't been inspired to talk about it. Like, I don't know. when it just Even when it comes to people and their bullshit and their madness. Like, if it ain't nothing too crazy, I don't even like blinking eye at it. Like... When she said that, I was kind of just like, eh. yeah, so what girls lie? Yeah, so what girls say stuff like, oh, well, I'm allergic to latex when they really not. Yeah, some girls want to have unprotected sex with you because you might have money. Or some girls just want to have unprotected sex in general because they just like you like that. But the point I'm getting at in this whole instance is just like, I don't even really give a fuck. And I'm not saying that in the instance of like, I'm angry or I just can't, you know, I don't give a fuck about that bitch. I'm just more so like, eh, it's kind of just the norm. And I think that's the part of the, you know, the thing about all this stuff is kind of like, it's gotten to the point where it's like average. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's like, girls, that's like saying like, if someone was to come with me to tell me today, it's like, you know, if a girl tells you she's pregnant and she want abortion money, then chances are she's not going to get rid of the baby. I'd be like, all right. But if you'd have asked me that shit three years ago, I'd have been like, man, that bitch, fuck that bitch. Man, fuck this bitch. That bitch ain't shit because she want to get abortion money. It's kind of like, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to be so... Maybe that's just my nonchalant attitude taking over, but it's kind of like, listen, if it ain't life or fucking death, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not immediately dying from it, or if I don't even really care about it, it's hard for me to even put my energy into it, man. Like... I've, I've taken so much stuff in stride like as of this this 2019 has been a, a whirlwind of shit for me and it's kind of like i'm at a point where it's like i'm just kind of numb to a lot of this shit <laughs> and that's not to say i don't feel anything at all but it's kind of just like you know whatever you know some shit is just not that important no more i don't feel the need to say it and i don't feel the need i don't what i'm basically getting that in a whole nutshell because i'm dragging this shit out too long is that 
I don't feel as compelled to prove a point on a subject that is kind of just public information per se. And that's kind of what it felt like when she told me. It's like, well, I mean, you know, you got to watch out for them hoes that say they're allergic to latex. It's kind of like, look, I don't been around so long that it don't even make a difference what you tell me. I'm going to protect myself regardless, but I'm just saying, like, you know, who gives a fuck about the small shit? And to me, that used to be a big thing. It's like worrying about girls getting pregnant, this and the third. Now, granted, I still have a PTSD from that, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm not finna sit there and worry about it. Like, I don't like to... I'm at a real solid place. I don't overthink things and everything. I kind of just learn to let it go and just go with the flow for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the better off, and, and the more you take things in stride with just things you deal with, the better off you are as a person because it creates less stress on your mind. You don't worry about it. If it doesn't immediately affect your fucking day, then why the fuck do you care? It's been running the Winston Outlet podcast, man. I just had to get that off my chest right now.